Hey everybody, we're back in the golf fitness and we're into the stretch mode. We're in the stretch program. You're going to want to do this after your exercise routine, static stretching, stationary stretching, previous to the exercise, active stretching, after exercise, static stretching. So the first one we're going to teach you is the hip flexor. That's right in front of the hip. It goes down in the front side of your body. Let me show you a little side view. Okay, right here. And you're going to just keep your knee. If, if, you, if you don't have sore knees, you don't have any kind of knee issue, this would be the stretch that you'd want to do on the ground. Or you could stand and do that same stance. So if you uh, have that, you need that, let me know. If I stand up now, I'll be half in, half out of the video, so I don't want to do that, okay? Another one that you could do standing, but I'm going to do it uh, on my knees, is that shoulder. Okay, shoulder and chest. Just interlock your hands, bring them right in back of your body. Hold that. Hold each stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. Going to really be effective that way. Now, there's a shoulder stretch. I'm going to show you the back way, right? So what we're trying to do is reach our fingers. If we can't touch our fingers together, our shoulders are tight. The internal and external rotators of the shoulder need to be more flexible. Our backswing and follow through are very dependent on our shoulder flexibility. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take a little towel, okay? I'm just gonna have a visualize. You're gonna pull up and pull back down, holding that for again, 20 to 30 seconds in each upward motion and downward motion, stretching and then reverse hands do the same thing. You're gonna notice your most dominant arm on the internal rotators is usually tight. That's because our hand is always forward, we're on our computers, we're, we're on our phones, we're driving, we're always protracted. That's where our shoulders are forward. We wanna get into more retraction and again, strengthen the chest, I'm sorry, strengthen the back, stretch the chest. Very important with posture. Some other stretches that we want to do are hamstrings. And I'm going to show you a seated hamstring stretch. You're going to sit right here, point your toes to your head, and reach forward. Again, you're going to want to hold that stretch for at least 30 seconds. Then you're going to lay down. You're going to drop both knees to one side for your hip. Palms are facing down, again, both sides. You always want to hit both sides when you're stretching. One side is going to be more tight than the other. You may want to focus on that tight side double time. Um, a couple other stretches we have are glute stretches, side stretches, hip flexor, did that all. So we're going to go into a glute stretch. A couple different options. There's a pigeon where you put your leg underneath your body and just kind of Come on down, okay? Let me show you the front view. Your foot is turned over, flat, come down. If you can't bend like that, another great glute stretch. You're gonna cross your leg, pull between, and just pull. You're gonna feel that glute, okay? Awesome stretch. So, again, the, mo the one most important that I showed you in the beginning is that hip flexor stretch. And you can even move a little bit in this. I know I said be static about it, be stationary, and really almost lean back a little bit and feel that pull. Again, when you're stretching, don't go beyond pain. You should be a little bit, you know, not uncomfortable, but definitely in a state of stretch and work on that, okay? Any questions, let me know.